Hi, what's up guys? In this module, we are going to see Karu Creation Tools. I am Nevas from MayaBuddy.com. Welcome to Karu Creation Tools. This is, uh, these are the tools we are going to learn in this module. CV Karu Tool, EP Karu Tool, Ledger Karu Tool, Pencil Karu Tool, Arc Tools. You might know, Karus are very very important in any software in 3D generally when you are doing simple models or complex models architectural models you need Karu creation tools you need to have some Karus and you generate the surfaces from them okay in Maya Karu creation there are different kinds of Karu creation tools are there that is uh, these are the things for example select a CV Karu tool just uh, hold down alt and click see now I am creating the curve. Enter. Have I created? Go to create. CV curve tool. Select that. Click. 1, 2, 3, 4. You need to click 4 points. Then only we will get the. This is not the curve. This is the curve actually. See once if I click enter. So this is not the actually you are clicking the points here but you are getting the curve like this enter click enter you got the curve it's actually creating on the ground okay just delete one go to top view hold down space bar and uh, click on space bar you can go to top view see if you right click right mouse click and hold you will get the components you need to know this is a control vertex, karu point, edit point, object mode, hull. These are the components of the karu. That is what uh, CP you just seen. CV karu tool means actually that is a control vertex. You are uh, selecting this W, click and drag. You can modify the karu like this in whatever the way you want can modify it this way edit point means it comes on the curve see this is uh, it is coming on the curve you can create go to ep curve tool edit point curve tool and click and see even you can create like this you need to click enter to come out of that curve creation tool that is what is EP curve tool. Even you will get the same control vertices, curve points. Just you can click. This is uh, you will come to know in NURBS modeling. When you are doing NURBS modeling, you will come to know what is the purpose of uh, these curves. If you want to break at this particular point, uh, you need to specify that. It is a one kind of specification of a particular point on the curve. That is called curve point. Edit point means these are the edit points. We used them to create EP Karu tool. Hull means this is the actual complete selection of the Karu control vertices. It is a, um, the link between two control vertices is the hull. It is useful uh, when you are in doing hubs modeling. All these tools control vertices, edit point, Karu point, hull. These four things are useful when you are doing uh, modeling using the curves, NURBS modeling. That is called NURBS modeling or uh, generally when you are doing modeling you start with NURBS then you can go to convert to polygon and giving the high, high end details. That is what general procedure. Start from curves, generate the surfaces, convert them into polygons, add the details. Come out of it. That is called hull. Then object mode means coming out of the normal selection mode. Try to remember these four components of the curve, NURBS curve, control vertex, curve point, edit point, hull. I used control CV curve tool and EP curve tool here. CV curve tool, EP curve tool, Bezier curve tool. This is the most exciting thing in a curve creation tool. For example, just select a Bezier curve tool and click there. See, just it is creating a point click again click in now it is a straight line hold click and drag you can you will get the beziers handles and you will you can give the curve in whatever the way you want even, even you can edit them later 
see you can use the straight lines and you can give the curves that is what is the bezier thing if you want to edit this for example see scroll down shift and right click you will get it into beziers for example see hold down shift and on a particular point hold down shift convert this into curve corner bezier corner you can get it this way select them modify it modify it that is what is simply a bezier uh, thing hold down shift on any particular point right click and hold right mouse click and hold bezier corner corner bezier you will get the handles bezier corner means you will you, it will become a corner sharp corner but you will have handles right modify it it's very very useful in creating very complex shapes try to understand the bezier curve so that you can do creation things let click on w come out of uh, that uh, bezier curve tool then pencil curve tool this is a free hand tool for example just uh, okay see just i'm clicking and dragging so that you can cre create the free hand tool kind of thing but only drawback is it creates lot of control vertices but you can uh, do that in a uh, later chapter when you are doing edit curves in surfaces edit curves you can use rebuild curve tool and smooth curve tool um, to to keep the shape but uh, to have the less number of control vertices it is a combination tool for example you need to use the rebuild uh, curve tool to make the less number of but when you are uh, talking about edit curves you will come to know how to use it you will come to know that is what is a pencil curve tool arc tools if you want any kind of arcs for example just click three point arc three points one two three see you got an arc tool now you can modify it this is how you can modify it enter so you created the arc two point arc tool just i want to delete everything create arc tools two point arc tool just click two points and just click here comes up you click here it comes down if you want if you are very specific about it you know even you can edit them later in uh, here in a channel box editor this is what all the curve creation tools if you want normal curves generally most commonly used one is cv curve tool this is what 90% uh, use cv curve tool to create the curves and uh, now you might this is recently in recent versions it got updated this tool so i think this is also very very useful bezier curve tool and arc tools very rarely if you are architectural modeling you might use these things more pencil uh, free hand kind of thing something like that okay i hope uh, this is a uh, helped this, this this tutorial helped you uh, in understanding uh, how to create curve tools if you think this tutorial is useful subscribe to the channel and uh, like the video. if you want more videos please ask uh, in the comments or uh, in the website somewhere so that i can make more videos with examples something like that thank you so much have a great day